Naruto is the first anime I had watched and now I am fan of it. As a 12 year old orphan and with no relatives, Naruto being avoided by the adults of the village because during his birth a nine tails demon fox who attacked his village was sealed in him by his father who is the leader of the village that time, sacrificing himself and Naruto's mother's life in process. As a result, he grew up being alone with no social interactions, none came to acknowledge or love him when he was small. He often cried but kept telling himself nothing would be achieved by crying. Despite all, Iruka Sensei, Kakashi, Sasuke, Third Hokage never hate or avoid Naruto. So to be admired and respected in the village, he set out a goal of becoming the Hokage so that everyone would look up to him. All his life he has worked to achieve that aim, working day and night harder than every day with his window in mind. I will never give up no matter what. I am not going to run away and never go back on my word that is my Nindo, my ninja. Naruto taught us a lot but the most important thing he taught us is to never give up in life and whatever you want to achieve will not come to you. You have to work your way tough to achieve it. It will be a very tough road ahead but make the road fun, make a few friends and smile. Your way through it. He taught us to hold our friends together as they are the greatest gift in life. And if one goes down a dark road then it is your responsibility as a friend to show him light. He showed us that bonds are important and that is what makes us a human. Naruto himself was widely feared, mistrusted and even hated as the living container of the nine tail fox. But the boy persisted and changed everyone's mind on what he is capable of. Naruto, many of his friends and even enemies all have a few great lessons to teach. Be aware that bright smiles may hide serious pain. Even when Naruto was in agony of self-doubt, fear or grief, he never stopped smiling. He always tried to remain positive and upbeat and despite his incredible burdens, he never fails to face the next challenge with a smile. This proves that a cherry smile may be hiding a serious pain and inner darkness and a person Shouldn't be fooled just because someone like Naruto is always smiling doesn't mean their life is all sunshine. Everyone has burdens. No one is ever to be alone. Kara of the sand grew up with even more loneliness than Naruto did, being hated as the one tail Shukaku's bearer. His villagers, even his father, tried multiple times to kill him. This fueled Kara's hate and prompted him to kill other people to prove his existence. But Naruto understood Gara's position and also explained that even he had some friends such as Iruka Sensei who was almost like a father figure to him. Then Sasuke and Sakura joined him as team 7, creating a new family of sorts with Kakashi. Revenge and hatred only led to more revenge and hatred. The conversation between Naruto and Nagato, the pain, shows us how one person's hatred can transform to love. Naruto learned about Nagato's past after Naruto defeated him and Nagato explained him that no one would truly understand the meaning of peace until they endure pain. How this vicious circle of hatred is inevitable. But Naruto surprised him when he forgave him for his deeds even for killing their teacher Jiraiya and shown him the act of forgiveness, he explained to him he believed in their teacher's learning and no matter what happens he never loses his path towards keeping peace in the world. Nagato was responsible for the leaf village destruction but once he heard Naruto out, he saw hope for the future after all and even he gave his very life to undo all the death and destruction he had done. Naruto inspired us to be the bigger man in the picture and learn the act of forgiveness. This world needs more love than hate and one has to be the person who can break this chain of hatred.
don't get stuck in the past in a bloody world like this one most ninjas have seen their friends or family members die on the field of battle iruka sensei and naruto both lost their parents in third ninja war that is sunade lost her lover dan and the grief hit her heart she practically withdrew from the world of ninjas weighed down by her bitter sweet memories of dan but this held her back from her potential and once sunade processed her grief she became the fifth hokage striding into a future that dan would be proud of personal loyal means everything ninjas are expected to be the most loyal to their village and their mission willingly abandoning their comrades if the situation calls for it but kakashi had a case face differently and he often repeated obito's line that ninjas who abandon the mission are scum but those who abandon their friends are even worse than scum people greatly value trust loyalty and reliability in others and rewarding friendships based on trust and cooperation can get a person quite far in their lives often in unexpected ways never ever give up on your dreams since the start naruto always dreamed of becoming the hokage the strongest shinobi in the village and he achieved his dream and became the hokage and same goes for rock lee sakura that they dream to become strong but it was not a smooth ride they gone through hardship journey for example naruto not good in school lost his teacher and friends rockley's leg got broken in a fight and was ready to give up his dream to become a ninja but they never lost faith in themselves and never gave up on their dreams they trained day and night learning new jutsu new skills that encouraged them to move forward not for instance they imagine quitting they trust in their faith and themselves and ready to face any challenge head on their journey inspired me and taught me to never even give up on my dreams and goals no matter how worse the hardship is if we have faith on our mighty and on ourselves we can achieve anything in life always remember to never give up hard work beats talent you might have heard that you don't need a talent but determined and how much you are ready to put your might in process matters talent just give you an edge towards your goal but street habit of pushing yourself helps you to reach your goal that's what shown by rockley who lacked talent to become the ninja yet he wants to be the strongest ninja in the village with the help of his teacher guy he trained harder and pushed himself beyond his limits but never gave up and never lost his focus towards his goal with his pure hard work he became the strong taijutsu martial arts user in the village rokuli says genius so i was not born with a whole lot of natural talent not gifted like neji but i work hard and i never give up that is my gift and that is my ninja way lee taught us even if you lack any born talent yet you can achieve your goal with your hard work determination and right attitude so these all things you can learn i obviously can't cover all all characters but they all teaches the same thing so do what naoto says if you don't like your destiny don't accept it instead have the courage to change it the way you want it to be remember if someone tells you that you are a failure then do what naoto did prove them wrong